continuing coverage tonight. We're hearing now from the family of the man found dead in a daycare parking lot in Taylor's after his accused killer was denied bond. 7 News reporter Scotty Kay is joining us live in the studio after hearing what the victim's family had to say about this crime. Scotty? Amy, the mother of Nathan Johnson showed empathetic showed empathy towards the man accused of shooting and killing her son. However, she did tell 7 News she's glad his bond was denied and says he deserves to stay in jail. Of course, we're feeling hurt and pain and disappointment and missing him. All those feelings are tied up within us. Ruth Williams is the mother of Nathan Johnson, the man found dead in the parking lot of La Petite Academy in Taylor's on Monday. The man accused of shooting and killing him, Nakia Allen, was arrested after deputies say he accidentally shot himself, stole Johnson's car, and left the scene. He was denied bond during a hearing Tuesday morning. I don't have any ill feelings because I'm not the one that the young man is going to have to give account to. William says she's leaning on her faith during this difficult time. My son is gone now. There's nothing I could do to bring him back. Everything from this point on is in the hands of the Lord, and that's where I leave it. But she's not the only one hurting. He just had a really big heart. They loved everyone, wanted to see a smile on everybody's face. It just brings joy to their hearts as well. If would have somebody to share the house that, he would have did anything for anybody. <laughs> so I just don't understand why he would do this to my daddy. Nathan Johnson's family says he knew the suspect well. He have helped that young man and his mother many times yes. when they was in need. He was there for them. They were longtime friends um, uh, for many years, over over 15 years, I'll say. Even with hurt in her heart, Johnson's mother is thinking about the suspect's family as well. Just like I have a loss for my son, his mother is going through something too. It's a two-sided situation. I forgive him but I still expect justice to be done. Now, Nakia Allen is in the Greenville County Detention Center tonight. In addition to murder, he also is facing weapons, drugs, and other charges. Back to you. Scotty Kay, thank you.